Yesterday, Jeffrey Winehouse drove to a gas station in St. Clair, Missouri to meet with two men. A short time later, Winehouse left in a helicopter, airlifted 50 miles to a hospital in St. Louis. He had been shot twice in the chest and once in the head. Details about the interaction haven't been disclosed, but local media have already adopted a blame the victim stance. And while the shooters are well known to the so-called authorities, their names have yet to be released. You see, the men Winehouse met with the men who shot him wore badges. They work out of Troop I of the Missouri Highway State Patrol, and the incident is now being investigated by their colleagues down the road at Troop C. Conflict of interest? So what happened? Friends of Winehouse said that he was going to meet with Missouri State Patrol employees to get back his computer, which they'd previously stolen from his residence. Local media reports that Winehouse had a warrant, something his friends dispute. What isn't disputed is that Winehouse, like those he met, showed up open carrying, something that doesn't violate man-made legislation in Missouri, nor natural law, or as Winehouse would likely deem it, God's law. Winehouse was a longtime activist in the area. His message was one that sought to weed out injustice and double standards, which he saw came in the form of judges, police, and lawyers. He called the criminal's justice system corrupt, and urged people accused of victimless actions to clog the courts. Winehouse's perspective rested on religious and constitutional grounds that also incorporated ties to the Masons. Admittedly, some may find such connections outlandish or without merit, but what is clear is that Winehouse correctly pointed out the real harms caused by those working, often unthinkingly, as judges and police. In his August 16th update, The Party's Over, he noted, The America that I grew up in is long gone now. The good news is it can be restored, and it can be restored peacefully if the powers that be just simply walk away. Thus far, the police haven't exactly been transparent. We're not going to release anything more because it's an ongoing investigation. It's unknown at this time if Winehouse was filming, if the cruisers were equipped with dash cams, or if the state troopers were wearing audio or video recording devices. For now, our thoughts are with Winehouse and our actions are trying to get some accountability. I have every right, duty, responsibility to throw off the government when it becomes destructive to what it was designed for. The whole point and purpose of our government, our Constitution, is to protect and maintain our God-given individual rights. When it fails to do so, it has failed its chief design. And it's really up to the people to dissolve that government and to establish new government, which is in accordance to the principles of the original Constitution. It ain't going to fly anymore. No victim, no crime. 